Hello, this is Bill Bullard with RCAF USA, the voice of the independent cattle producer in the United States of America. Last week, our industry experienced the aftermath of the Tyson fire in Holcomb, Kansas. The CME board opened limit down on both Monday and Tuesday. But on Thursday, RCAF USA opened its 20th annual convention in Deadwood, South Dakota. We were hoping for an audience of over 300 cattle producers. We ended up exceeding that by a wide margin. Our opening day attracted about 400 producers from all over the country, and many more came on Friday. We don't have a final count yet, but a good estimate is that we had between 410 and 500 attendees. That made for the largest convention ever in our 20-year history. But that's not all the cattle producers who actually viewed our convention. Cattle USA, with the financial help of CKP Insurance, live streamed our entire convention. On Thursday afternoon, we received a report that 400 viewers were watching the events on their internet, and that number reportedly doubled to 800 on Friday. Now, this is a clear indication that there are a lot of challenging issues facing America's cattle producers, and RCAF USA is viewed as the organization fighting for genuine solutions to those challenges. You simply don't have this level of participation. For organizations that are not on the front lines fighting for their members and demonstrating that their chances for success in achieving their member-driven policy is very, very good. Despite the downturn in the market, spirits were high. And that's likely because the quality of speakers at the convention conveyed a good reason to believe that things are about to change for the better. But as you would expect, the Tyson fire and its effect on the market was on the minds of producers throughout the two information-packed days of the convention. Now, rancher and attorney Tracy Hunt from Wyoming kicked off the convention with an in-depth presentation on the true motive behind the Global Roundtable for Sustainable Beef. It's all about control of the live cattle supply chain. And he explained that multinational corporations are positioning themselves to be able to dictate production practices to America's cattle farmers and ranchers. He explained that the strategy is to acclimate cattle producers into complying with the dictates of major environmental groups and major corporations. And the first example is acquiescence to comply with the beef quality assurance standards with RFID ear tags and third party verifiers soon to arrive for the next phase. An eye-opener for many was Tracy's video depicting the key architect of the GRSB. That's the World Wildlife Fund. And they said that contrary to what producers are being told, the GRSB sustainability initiative is not consumer driven. In fact, the video established that the World Wildlife Fund believes that consumers should not have a choice in the matter. This is a must-see presentation. Among our speakers were three manufacturers who spoke from personal experience about how their manufacturing companies have been harmed by globalism. They explained how currency devaluation and manipulation was the greatest challenge facing their businesses, as they said this has a more lasting and damaging effect than many of the other trade distorting factors, such as cheaper labor, use of state-owned enterprises, and hidden subsidies. Brian O'Shaughnessy from Revere Copper explained that currency devaluation forces U.S. manufacturers and farmers and ranchers to compete not with their counterparts in foreign countries, but rather it relegates them to compete with the governments of those foreign countries, a competition that smaller manufacturers and farmers and ranchers cannot win. Now, convention attendees were surprised by the similarities between how U.S. manufacturers are harmed by current trade policy and how American cattle producers are harmed by these same failed policies and in the very same way. Fox Nation News covered our two-day convention, and Fox Nation's Tommy Lahren was our keynote speaker. But before her keynote address, we did a book signing for Tommy's new book, Never Play Dead, How the Truth Makes You Unstoppable. In her remarks, Tommy called on President Trump to restore country of origin labeling for beef, and she received a standing ovation. Also presenting at our convention were the attorneys representing our CAF USA in key industry lawsuits. Scott and Scott was represented and explained the status of our historical class action antitrust lawsuit against the four largest packers, and public justice described the unfolding events in our beef checkoff lawsuit. Now, RCAF USA is in the process of converting our speaker presentation into YouTube videos so the public can access the great information that our members gain firsthand from attending our 20th annual convention. So now we're back to work on the issues that impact the pocketbooks of independent cattle producers. And I urge you to join with RCAF USA so that we can become large enough and strong enough to permanently fix our broken markets. With that, we're out of time. Thank you and goodbye.